Hi guys, in this video I want to show you my masterpiece, which is a special piece of furniture aspiring joiner master have to build to obtain the master title. My masterpiece is called the door of the orient. I choose this name because of its unique door and its function as a storage for my shisha, which my girlfriend had given to me as a present. I'm actually really proud of the finished product, nearly everything went fine in the building process, more on that later. So yeah, uh, let's get started and get you an impression of the furniture. First of all, it's mostly built out of solid ash and linoleum laminated MDF. The corpus is divided into an ash frame up front and back and in between there is a linoleum panel. I decided to mill a 2.5mm chamfer to all edges to highlight the edgy look of the cabinet. The outside dimensions of the furniture are 390mm x 833mm x 1026mm. Looking at the lower part you can see is three drawers constructed with wooden guides as a pullout for full extension. All of them can be locked or unlocked by using a hidden slide mechanism on the underside of the cabinet. In the locked position every drawer has its main case. In the unlocked position all drawers can be fully extended. As a result the smaller secret case becomes visible. The alternating ash and linoleum create the impression that the drawer is fully extended even though it is not. So all valuables are safe instead of showing a potential safe lock which could be cracked. In the upper part you can see the folding door. It behaves more or less like a sliding door which is closed at the left or right side. As you can see it works with four triangles and two squares. The triangles top and bottom are connected with bearings to the corpus. The squares are connected with piano hinges which allow to compensate for the depth of the door during the movement. The hinge in the middle allows the rotation and holds both triangles straight together. To keep the knob at the same height, there is a rope connected to the squares on the back side of the door. In closed position, left or right, magnets on the edges help to hold the door in place. Also the knob is connected with bearings to not twist out of the hand. Otherwise it would make a quarter turn each time. So let's start over with the building process. After getting all my hand tools ready and heading over to the joinery, I started with the door. As it was the most complex part of the work, it seemed like a good idea to have some time finding another solution if anything will went wrong. While I was pretty sure that the construction of the corpus and drawers go smoothly, I started with the hinge, welded an 8mm bolt to a flat steel, added a thrust ball bearing for the rotation between the two pieces of steel and on top two deep groove ball bearings for the knob. Then I decided to build the slider for the secret compartments as well as the mounting for the door to get the metalwork done. After milling the triangles I cut and glued a solid wood edge to them. In addition I made sure to have continuous wooden pattern along the door. As soon as the glue was dry I sanded the triangles through the calibration machine and got them ready for lamination. After flush milling the linoleum I milled all triangles according to the same template to obtain four equal pieces. Then I added three-way adjustable hinges to continue with the door. I decided to choose these kind of hinges because they look smooth and the other hinges I built myself are not adjustable. And that's where I got some problems. The issue was that these type of hinges are not solid enough. So when the door was closed right or left side it affects the gap size that much that the edges of the triangles even touched each other. So I had to come up with another solution in the given time I could build my masterpiece. I had some ideas to build my own hinges, but therefore I also would have to need to replace the door elements, so I finally decided to use piano hinges. They work pretty much the same, are solid enough and I had a fast solution, because I only had to glue a piece of wood in the place of the old hinges and then screw the piano hinges on top. I feel like I will build the door again for another project and then with my own constructed hinges to have a better look because I don't really like piano hinges and I still have a little bit of movement. But to finish my work and build first time a unique door, I'm glad with that outcome. Then I attached all remaining linoleum pieces timber joints to connect them to the ash frame, back panel, door and drawer panel. At all flush joints the linoleum is scraped and the ash edges are slightly sanded. The sides and cap of the corpus are glued to one big piece to avoid difference in the width and also have a wooden pattern through the frame. 
then I cut a bevel to them and mill domino and tong to the corner joint. After having all pieces ready, I could connect the furniture for the first time to get an impression. Next I built the drawers. With all pieces ready in size, I started to chisel the half by dovetails to the front of all drawers. Then I shaped some grooves for the bottom and the back sides. Glued together, I screwed the bottom and added the brackets for the clasp mechanism. I shaped the handle to the fronts of the drawers. After that, I started to shape the parts for the full extension. For this part, the choice of wood was very important. Therefore, I glued the runner with post annual rings together to avoid that it changed its shape over time. The sides of the wooden stripes are tapered to reduce the friction between the wooden pieces. Sliding nearly perfect, I milled a groove to each part and got a driver by using a headless screw in the runner. Now I could clamp all together to make some more tests and adjustments. Then it was time to attach the slider in the bottom part of the furniture. Working fine, I moved on and attached two sleeves, added bolts and some washers for the mounting of the door. Everything adjusted, I had to glue the entire furniture together, which includes a lot of steps within barely time given from the glue. So I prepared as best as possible and got it with a lot of clamps, tension belts and tape done. Some work on the adjustment on the door and the drawers was left and finally a last layer of oil followed by a polishing step. For the presentation I also built a wall to attach the furniture. A little bit of hard soap on the runners of the drawers gave them the finishing touch, so they slide as perfect as possible. Thanks for woodworking with me today, like, subscribe, leave some comments and see you next time.